Hello everyone and welcome to my review of set number 75162, the Y-Wing Microfighter and it's one of the new Winter Wave 2017 sets. It goes nicely with the U-Wing which I've already built and I'm ready to review, but without further ado, I'm going to build it and I'll be back in a second. So getting into the main part of the review, we're going to start off with noting that it is set number 75162, ages 6 to 12, it comes with 90 pieces and it sells for £9 in the UK or $10 in the US, however you can get pretty good discounts on this set. So just a first point, I think it looks really cool and it comes with a great minifigure and that might be with a slight bias because I collect Rebel Pilot minifigures, but I quite like him. It definitely captures the real Y-Wing, but it does it in the chibi art style of microfighters and overall I think it looks really cool. So now we're getting into the main part of the review. But just before I do that, can I please say, if you like this video and you want to see more of them, please remember to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. So, without further ado, let's take a look at the minifigure. We have a White Wing pilot who has some very nice printing and he's clearly from Blue Squadron to match the Rogue One movie. He has a very nice helmet which has Rebel Alliance printings on the top. You can have the Marek family thing from, you know, the Force Unleashed family crest which is very nice and I like how they have the badge and then he has the nice tubes on the front not quite like the first order pilots who had the really cool 3d ones but it probably wouldn't fit with the way the helmet's molded the legs are but quite I love how the overall simple, detail comes together just to make it look really cool and now take a look at the back you can see it's obviously quite plain and he just has the classic flight vest which you get on all of these guys and it's in the nice light blue color the back of the helmet is also very nice with the red stripes and if we just put him sideways you can see that the printing here is really cool and the side of the thing. His face has the new better outlined goggles and it doesn't have the same as the U-Wing where it has the real 3D one but I still quite like it. He has the chin strap and in this expression he's smiling whilst in the other one he looks absolutely terrified. And I really like that. So a great minifigure. And now taking a look at the set itself. So, like I said, I unfortunately don't have the full size Y-Wing yet. But hopefully I can get that soon and maybe do a comparison. This is a really cool set, I think. It isn't 100% accurate to the actual Y-Wing. And it reminds me of the Arc 170 and the style that it's done. They're not meant to be accurate. They're meant to be in that chibi art style which makes them look really cute and fit on shelves nicely and you can see it's quite stubby at the back but I think that fits it quite well and you have the bombing system here and they still managed to fit in all of that greebling detail even though it's quite a small set the one thing I would have liked to have been changed was these white parts here for the engines would probably have looked better in grey and this section doesn't quite look hollow enough, but obviously there's constraints with the parts they can use. So obviously there's not many features. You can fire the spring-loaded shooters, which is self-explanatory. You just do it like this, you flick them away and they get lost and you're not happy. That's fine. They work well. Shame they couldn't use the stud shooters because I think they're a much more up-to-date style and they're just better. And then you can see you can put the pilot in quite nicely and he looks pretty cool in there. Sitting behind a windshield which actually captures it quite well, especially when he's sitting in it. You also have these guns at the front which are quite similar to the ones on the actual full size set. But I think they look fine and the overall build is quite fun. And they're a great thing to get for presents for people because they're not too expensive. They're really fun and they look pretty cool on shelves. That's it for the actual set. And I'm going to go into some final thoughts, but I've said most of what I want to say, so let's just do that. So, for this wave of Mike Fighters, I only decided to get these two because I don't think the other two really appeal too much. And these two look excellent, especially with the great minifigures as an added extra. I think I slightly prefer the Y-Wing to the U-Wing because it just looks a lot nicer in shape. But the U-Wing looks really cool as well. I also prefer the colour scheme because it's, you know, it's the classic gold squadron, well, in probably blue squadron. It's a bit strange the way they've done it, but it's it's a great set. They're both great sets, and I'd recommend both of them, and to get them together, it's £10, or 
well, near enough. It's nine pounds, ten dollars. You can get it fairly cheaply and maybe even discounted. So I'd say nine, maybe ten out of ten for what you get for value for money. And I'd say if you have the option to, this is a great one to get, and I'd recommend it over the the other ones, especially the Imperial ones. So that's basically it for this review. I'd like to say thank you for watching, and I'd like to encourage you to go and check out my live stream, which is on later tonight, which will be me continuing to build the LEGO Phantom set, which you may have seen from last night. And if you want me to keep on doing daily uploads, please leave a like on the video and subscribe to let me know. But that's enough for this video, so I'll see you all tomorrow. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.